Welcome back to the Tenorshare channel. If your iPhone is stuck in recovery mode, you're not alone. I've been there, and trust me, I know that sinking feeling. But don't panic. In this video, I'll walk you through five ways to fix it, and these will help you save your data. And if you've ever had this happen, let me know in the comments what worked or didn't work for you. Let's go. First, let's quickly understand why your iPhone might get stuck in recovery mode. It could happen if the cable gets disconnected during an update, if there are bugs or glitches in the software, or even due to hardware issues like problems with the CPU. Older devices are more prone to this, but even newer models like the iPhone 15 aren't immune. Now let's talk solutions. The first method you can try is a force restart. This is the go-to fix for most system glitches, and it's really easy to do. Click volume up button, then volume down, then press and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears. Once you see the logo, let go of the button and your phone should return to normal. If you have iPhone 6 or 7 series, just press these two buttons together to force restart your phone and release the buttons when the Apple logo reappear will be okay. But if your iPhone is still stuck, don't worry, there are other tricks up our sleeve. You can try waiting for about 15 minutes to see if your iPhone exits recovery mode automatically. Some users have reported that simply waiting allows the system to reset itself and boot up as usual. Additionally, you can try letting your iPhone's battery drain completely. Just unplug it, leave it alone for several hours, and once it's dead, plug it back in and see if it boots up normally. It's not the fastest method, obviously, but if you're not in a rush and nothing else is working, it's worth a shot. If you don't want to wait, let me show you a much quicker way, using Reiboot. It's literally a one-click fix. I'll drop the link below. Download and install Reiboot on your computer. Then plug your iPhone into your computer. Open Reiboot and then click Exit Recovery Mode. Then, after a few seconds, your iPhone should restart and boot up normally. No data loss, no complicated steps, just one click. It's seriously a lifesaver. If your iPhone is really stuck and the simple exit didn't work, there's still hope. Reiboot has another feature that repairs the iOS system without erasing your data. Just click Start Repair and choose Standard Repair. Then follow the on-screen steps. It will download the firmware real quick. After that, it will fix your phone. I've seen people in YouTube comments say they were ready to restore their phone, but this method saved their data. If you have important photos, messages or notes, try this first before doing a full restore. All right, if you're interested, you can also use the official Apple software to update your device to the latest version and see if that helps. Open the Apple Devices app on your PC. The app should automatically detect your iPhone in recovery mode. Choose the Update button. If your phone is already on the latest version, it will erase your data. If you want to avoid that, you can try Reboot to fix the issue. If you click Update, you can wait for the update to be completed. It may get your phone out of recovery mode. You can also use iTunes or Finder to do it. They works pretty much the same. So, those are your five ways to fix an iPhone stuck in recovery mode. If you're lucky, a simple force restart will do the trick. If not, Reiboot can save you a ton of time and data. If this video helped, drop a like and subscribe for more iPhone tips. And if you found a different solution that worked, share it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.